According to the Naval Vessel Register and published statistics, the United States Navy has around 490 ships in active service and the reserve fleet, with another 90 in the planning and ordering phases or under construction. Out of all these ships, there are 10 ships which have served for more than 40 years for the U.S. Navy and are still in service today. Let's have a look at them. The 10 oldest U.S. naval vessel is the USS Carl Vinson CVN-70. She is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier named after Georgia Congressman Carl Vinson. She is the third Nimitz-class supercarrier of the United States Navy and was commissioned on March 13, 1982 in Newport News, Virginia and is still in active service today. She has participated in operations such as Desert Strike, Iraqi Freedom, Southern Watch and Enduring Freedom. She was involved in a number of notable events. Osama bin Laden's body was buried at sea from her deck in 2011. At number 9, we have the USS Ohio SSGN-726. She is the flagship submarine of a class of nuclear-powered fleet ballistic missile submarines and the fourth vessel in the United States Navy to bear the name of the state of Ohio. The submarine is the nation's most survivable and long-lasting nuclear strike capability. She was commissioned on 11 November 1981 and was supposed to be retired in 2002 according to original plans, but instead the Ohio and her three sister ships were upgraded and are now used as cruise missile submarines. She is now the oldest U.S. submarine remaining in service today. Number 8 on the list for the top 10 oldest U.S. naval vessels that are still in use today is the USS Frank Cable AS-40. She is the second Emory S. Land-class submarine tender and is named in honor of Frank Cable, an electrical engineer who had worked as an electrician and trial captain for USS Holland SS-1. She was commissioned on 29 October 1979 and began decommissioning in 1996 but then was reactivated and refitted to replace USS Holland AS-32 in the Western Pacific as Commander 7th Fleet's mobile repair and support platform. Number 7. USS Emery S. Land AS-39 She is a United States Navy submarine tender and the lead ship of her class. She was commissioned on 7 July 1979. The Emery S. Land was underway and deployed for 182 days in the year 1988. The ship steamed 26,011 nautical miles and circumnavigated the globe during its mission. She has received four Meritorious Unit Commendations, the Navy Expeditionary Medal, Armed Forces Expeditionary Medal, and eight Battle Efficiency Awards. The sixth oldest U.S. naval vessel still in use is the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower CVN-69. She is a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier that was commissioned on 18 October 1977. She is the second of the 10 Nimitz-class aircraft carriers currently in service with the U.S. Navy and is the first ship named after the third Fort President of the United States and General of the Army Dwight D. Eisenhower. Since commissioning, she has participated in deployments including the Gulf War in 1990s and more recently in support of U.S. military operations in Iraq and Afghanistan. At number 5 is USS Nimitz CBN-68 aircraft carrier. She is the lead ship of her class and was named after World War II Pacific Fleet Commander Chester W. Nimitz, who was the Navy's 3rd Fleet Admiral. She was commissioned on 3 May 1975 and is now the oldest U.S. aircraft carrier in service and the oldest serving aircraft carrier in the world. She has a lifespan of approximately 50 years. Estimates on decommissioning for Nimitz herself were updated in April 2022, with the Navy Press Corps indicating that USS Nimitz is planned to be removed from the battle force in fiscal year 2025. The fourth oldest U.S. naval vessel still in service is the USS Mount Whitney's LCC-20. She was named for Mount Whitney, a peak in the Sierra Nevada mountain range of California. She is one of the United States Navy's two Blue Ridge-class amphibious command ships. She was commissioned on 16 January 1971. 
Mount Whitney is the most sophisticated command, control, communications, computer, and intelligence ship ever commissioned. Mount Whitney can transmit and receive large amounts of secure data to and from any point on Earth through different communication channels. Commissioned on 14th November 1970, the USS Blue Ridge LCC-19, which is an amphibious command ship, is the third oldest U.S. naval vessel still in use today. Her primary role is to provide command, control, communications, computers, and intelligence support to the commander and staff of the United States 7th Fleet. She is the longest-serving active commissioned ship in the United States Navy and is scheduled to be in service until 2039. Commissioned on 7th April 1945, we have USS Pueblo at number 2. The ship served as a Coast Guard manned army vessel used for training civilians for the Army. This banner-class environmental research ship, attached to Navy intelligence, is used as a spy ship which was attacked and captured by North Korean forces on 23 January 1968 in what was later known as the Pueblo Incident. Pueblo, which is currently held by North Korea, is a still-commissioned U.S. Navy vessel. She is the only U.S. Navy ship still on the commissioned roster that is being held in captive. Next is the USS Constitution. Not only is she the oldest U.S. naval vessel that are still in active service today, she is the world's oldest ship still afloat. This Navy three-masted wooden hulled heavy frigate was commissioned since 1st October 1797. As a part of the Naval History and Heritage Command, Constitution stated objective now is to enhance understanding of the Navy's role in war and peace through educational outreach, historical display, and active involvement in public events. As a fully commissioned Navy ship, her 75-person crew participates in ceremonies, educational programs, and special events, all while keeping the ship open to guests and allowing free tours year-round. The officers and crew are all active duty Navy personnel and the assignment is considered to be a special duty. Well, that's it from the buzz for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.